Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, finally able to make another video. Uh, Michigan had a whole series of ice storms roll through. Uh, we lost a lot of trees. We lost internet. Uh, obviously lost power. Um, so, uh, really wasn't doing any of this. Wasn't worried about videos or anything, but uh, I did make that promise to you that, uh, well, three weeks ago, I was going to make a video the following week, and that obviously didn't happen. So, uh, I think I've kind of ruined all trust between you guys and me, but um, no more promises, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, I'm finally able to, to get back at the desk and start working at stuff. Um, today I'm going to show off uh, the Swift Neuchatel, or part what I have done of them, uh, some Prussians, Prussian High Command, um, as far as uh, that goes, and then some landware. So, won't be a long video, and I'm not going to sit here and ramble too much like I really always do. So, uh, yeah, so let's just jump into it. Uh, I thought I'd quickly just um, show my light box again. I had uh, posted this in the last video, or mentioned it in the last video, and a few of you had commented. Um, so I thought I'd just do a quick little snippet of it, because that's how I'm going to be showing you guys what I've painted, as well as um, for the photos. So... I just got the light here. This is just like a normal shop light you can get at Lowe's or any hardware store. I have a main uh, kind of desk lamp and there's a hole on top. So I'm getting all that overhead lighting as well as the frontal lighting. So as far as photos go and even video, it uh, really does the job quite well. So and then I've, I just have all that sitting on uh, the laptop stand below. Alrighty, so first off here, I got uh, Van Zieten and August uh, Van Gneisenhau. Uh, so I went and uh, labeled the bottom here as well as the date that they are completed. So uh, these are the finished up Prussian high command, um, along with Blucher that I had already showed off in the previous video. Um, I'll just spin them around. So, uh, August von Gniesenhau, uh, he was a uh, Prussian field marshal. He was Blucher's uh, chief of staff. Um, he kind of helped rebuild the Prussian army after Napoleon had uh, shattered it. Um, he was a big advocate for the construction of military academies and creation of the citizens' army. Uh, of course, Prussia went ahead and kind of did that with the landware, so uh, that was something he was a big advocate for. Uh, kind of a fun fact, in the Second World War, Germany went ahead and uh, named a battleship after him. Uh, it was one of two ships. Uh, I had a sister ship. I forget the name of that, but um, they were involved in the invasion of Norway. Uh, Gneisenhau helped sink the aircraft carrier HMS Glorious. Uh, I believe that's British. That's an HMS. But uh, then later the RAF bombed it, hit its uh, main magazine, and uh, the, the damage was deemed uh, too great for repair. So it was later used as uh, a blockade. So just kind of cool doing a little research on. Uh, or what I found uh, after looking up uh, Gneisenhau. So uh, the other guy with him, of course, is uh, von Zieten. He was uh, commander of the Prussian First Corps. Uh, he fought holding actions against Napoleon uh, in the Waterloo campaign uh, the day before uh, Ligny. Um, yeah, so he was credited with backing up uh, Wellington's left flank. Um, so. Cool little fact about him was uh, his corps was the first coalition force to enter Paris. So, I don't know, just fun little stuff to, to look up while you uh, paint these commanders because, I mean, they're not exactly household names. Uh, at least these two aren't. So, all right, next up here, I got the uh, third landwehr regiment of uh, Silesia. So, I had shown you guys a few of these in a previous video, but I got a, uh, quite a few more done, um, as well as the, the command in front of you. Those two are metal figures. Um, so 
So like I mentioned in the in the uh, intro, I have a lot of figures that are about half done, um, including these guys. These paint up pretty quick. Simple colors command, or compared to uh, French French units or the the Swiss. Um, and they don't have backpacks, so really they they paint up pretty fast. And they're quite enjoyable. I think it's nice to switch off, and that's probably why I'm doing it. So started off with quite a few dark trousers, you can tell with this base, and I'm kind of leaning towards keeping it lighter colors. Um, not that you can really tell, but I'm definitely going to do, be doing more white um, or light grays. So that's them. They've, they're coming along pretty quick, but I'm focusing on the, the new Chattel. So these will kind of be just something to break up the painting. Okay, last but not least, uh, these are the Neuchatel, the Swiss, uh, the four Grenadiers I've shown before, but I figured I'd just throw them in for a little reference point, I suppose, uh, add a little more depth. But these four Fusiliers I got done, I'm going to be doing the entire regiment in, uh, or battalion with the shackle covers on, so these four have them on. Uh, I started kind of with the light, and I'm going to transition into keeping it kind of dark. So the last two I did uh, kind of a black gray. So uh, finally gotten my scheme down as far as the yellow where I can paint faster. Uh, like the land where I have a majority of these about half done as far as black colors. So really it's about um, finishing those up. But I had... This guy in the back right here, his bayonet had uh, popped off. Rather than fiddle with that, I added in the uh, company flag. I don't know what those are called. I had that bookmark, and of course I didn't get it ready. But um, So this right, right up here. Um, so I added that. I recently got the book, um, Napoleon's Allies, uh, Switzerland. So there's a lot of great reference photos for those. Uh, and that flag was in there. So I believe it's the company marker, but um, yeah, so that's them Next video will probably be uh, the finished battalion because I'm really kind of focusing on these guys rather than the, the land wear uh, Yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of quick uh, I guess kind of long for the amount that I've gotten done, but again, this is just how I paint slow. So anyways, uh I guess I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'm still catching up with all the commenting on people's videos. So, yeah. See you guys. Thanks.